it's when monday we're off to a really great start here hey guys so this week we are talking about growing up as millennials all five of us are in the millennial generation which spanned from 1984 to 2004 which is really bizarre to me because my twin nieces were born in 2004 so technically we're part of the same generation, which is really bizarre to me. I was 18 when they were born. So I was born in 1986. I was born pretty early on in the millennial generation. I'm actually the oldest of this group, which I like to say in a lot of my groups, I like to be the oldest, but I like to complain about being the oldest. I don't know, I'm, I'm a strange person. Growing up a millennial was actually pretty great because the 90s was probably one of the best decades ever but I think every generation thinks that the decade that they grew up in was the best ever. My dad talks about the 70s, 70s music and blah 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 blah. For me it's the television shows and cartoons that were on in the 1990s that really set the 90s apart. I mean I like the music too don't get me wrong but for the most part it was the cartoons that really really got to me. Some of my absolute favorite cartoons uh, that I watched growing up were like Tiny Toon Adventures and Animaniacs to the point that I own Tiny Toon Adventures on DVD. I also own the movie Wacko's Wish for Animaniacs, um, but I watched Animaniacs on Netflix. I rewatched Animaniacs on Netflix. Haven't purchased the DVDs yet, but I plan to. But what I have purchased were all three of the pop figures of Yakko, Wacko, and Duck. Wacko is my favorite, which is why I grabbed him. <laughs> I love Wacko. I really also loved monster anime back then. So Pokemon, Digimon, Monster Rancher. Monster Rancher was honestly my favorite growing up. I actually have a DVD of that too. <laughs> monster Rancher was my favorite growing up only just because I played the game. Well, I played Pokemon first as well, but I played the game first and I absolutely adored the game and then just kind of stumbled on the anime. You know, when I played the game, Mochi was my favorite. But when I watched the television show, when I watched the cartoon or the anime, whatever you want to call it, I really fell in love with Tiger. <laughs> I think Tiger is just so great. He's my favorite color. He's my favorite type of animal, uh, you know, and he's not even a tiger. He's a wolf. Pokemon wise, I got into Pokemon. I got into the games first, uh, completely by accident, but I got into the games first and actually some of my favorite things in the entire world all happened by accident. So it's not unusual. <laughs> But I got into the games first back when they first came out. I got the blue version and I started playing it and I loved it. Which is funny because I started with the one I thought was the cutest at the time, which was Charmander. But as time kind of has gone on, I realized that Bulbasaur is my favorite. And not only is Bulbasaur my favorite, but as far as the lineage goes, the whole Bulbasaur evolution track is kind of my favorite. Because I'm not a big fan of Charmeleon or Wartortle. Um, like the design wise, I'm not a huge fan, but I really like Ivysaur as long as they have him on all fours and not standing up. I know I've, some, I've seen some artwork of him standing and that just is weird to me. But Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, I love all three and they're so great. And honestly, Bulbasaur is the best starter Pokemon and nothing will ever change my opinion on that. Disney movies were a big thing. My favorite uh, Disney movie comes from the 1990s. 1994 was The Lion King and I absolutely love it to this day. It's still my favorite Disney movie. Just so many great things happened in the 90s that were just fantastic. Uh, some of my favorite things like Nickelodeon shows, I really just absolutely ado adored anything that Dan Schneider made in the 90s. Um, all of that, Keenan and Kel, loved Are You Afraid of the Dark? I know that was named Dan Schneider, but we're, we're on a Nickelodeon kick now. <laughs> I really loved Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, one of my favorite ever, one of my absolute favorite game shows in the entire world is Legends of the Hidden Temple. <sighs> I actually started rewatching some of that when it was on uh, TV not too long ago. And my brother-in-law came in and he's like, oh my god, I can't believe you're watching that show. And I'm like, well, so? I don't care. I think it's great. He's like, you do realize all of those kids are my age. I'm like, yes, yes I do. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I think the 90s just had some of the best television shows, had some of the most creative television shows. It actually had cartoons that geared towards both adults and children. Rocco's Modern Life being a really great example of that. Um, so, you know, parents could sit down with their kids and enjoy the cartoon that they're watching with their kid. Um, you know, Animaniacs. I found a whole new appreciation for that when I rewatched it because it had so many great adult jokes in it. And now being an adult, I can appreciate those things. I mean, we can talk about music. I mean, 
of the Backstreet Boys, in sync, Britney Spears. Full House was another really great show and I have really actually been enjoying Fuller House. Just so many great things about the 90s. I, I love it. I love the 90s. I feel like I'm missing something though. I feel like I'm missing a very important thing that happened in the 90s. I just can't seem to put my finger on it. I feel like there was something else that aired in the 90s that I absolutely adored. I just can't remember what that was. Oh yeah, Power Rangers. Uh, these are actually candles that I got in the 90s. These are original Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, birthday cake candles. And I got them for one of my birthday cakes and I just decided I didn't want to burn them. And so uh, they just kind of sat for a very long time. Um, I found them recently and was astonished that they are still a thing in my life. I figured they would have been long gone by now. But this is kind of really kind of fun. It's like kind of like my own, you know, antique of the 90s, I guess. It's strange, but it's a thing that I have and I love it. Power Rangers to this day is still my favorite thing from the 90s. That will never go away. I absolutely adore Power Rangers. It's just a thing that I'll always love. And uh, because of that, I now have a love for Super Sentai. Um, I actually started developing that love back when I was even in high school and first started learning about Super Sentai. Finally started watching it when YouTube became a thing and then I stopped watching it because I realized that that was bad. <laughs> and then uh, it started coming out on DVD and so now I have Jiu Ranger and I have Die Ranger and I have Kaku Ranger and O Ranger is out and I need to buy that. I haven't yet but I'm going to. I'm super excited to see O Ranger. <laughs> I've always wanted to see O Ranger and it's so great. Um, but yeah, Power Rangers. Uh, Jason was always my favorite and will always be my favorite Power Ranger. I hope you enjoyed this Wednesday, Monday, Monday, Wednesday. Our second week and we're already transferring days a little bit. So anyway, um, I will see you guys next Wednesday. And Kyo-chan, we will see you tomorrow.